Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Daily Dose of Brood War cast here with your boy Saiyan SC. We've been a little busy recently, taking a little time off of the casting, doing some extra streaming, streaming some StarCraft alternate campaign, which has been a lot of fun. We did a lot of uh, just regular ladder streaming as well, sponsored stream. Things have been going pretty good on the streaming front, but it's time to get back to the old casting here. Uh, I think KCM is going to come back this week as well. If not, definitely next week. So I'm looking forward to that. That's all for me. We've got effort here in the top right hand corner. Sock in the bottom left. You guys know I had to watch this one, man. Effort, one of my favorite Zerg players of all time. I know a lot of you will be thinking the same thing, but Sock is, of course, really, really strong. And I've been watching this guy a lot over the weeks and months leading up to today, leading up to the ASL as well. And he's just been impressing me so, so much. I don't think he's quite ready to take a, a big tournament title just yet because he does seem to struggle a little bit on the main stage, but he is just godlike when it comes to ladder battles. Uh, he's able to take games off of the best players in the world pretty consistently. I think he might have some struggle with just his mental state or something like that when it comes to uh, like self-belief, that kind of thing. A lot of players do struggle with this, like really believing in themselves and thinking that they are actually a good player. Um, even when people are constantly telling them, even if effort or someone else is telling you, you know, you're actually really good. They might still say like, oh no, I'm not really that great. You know, I'm I'm just a, a crappy player, blah, blah, blah. I got lucky or whatever. And that can, uh, that type of attitude, it can help you and that it can help you to continue to get better, right? If you're really pushing yourself all the time, um, not telling yourself that you're great and, and amazing is is kind of helpful, right? It, it helps you to keep pushing. Like, I, I still have work to do. I still have work to do. But undermining yourself, telling yourself constantly that I'm just not good enough um, can start to seep into your mentality and it can make you play, play worse and especially in tournament play and stuff like that. You have to have some level of self-belief self when there's that little inkling of doubt in the back of your mind, you are going to make mistakes that you wouldn't otherwise make. And maybe that's something that Sok is struggling with. Maybe that's something that you're struggling with yourself back at home. And oh, look at that. A drone just got picked off here at the front. Three Marines are going to start to traverse this map. Now, Effort's done a bit of a, 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 bit of a stranger build. I, I would say he didn't put the gas down right after his pull. Um... I'm not sure what that's going to be for. Maybe a quicker third hatchery, something like that. Uh, usually when people do this build, when they do the uh, 12 hatch, they're going to go ahead and throw it on the pool and then the gas immediately. But I did see some drones being made during that. So I expect we're going to be seeing a much quicker pool. He sees the four Marines here in the middle of the map and he's made four lings of his own so having those four lings means that he's probably not going to get busted here he does make a sunken though anyway which i mean probably not necessary but uh he does have another ling popping out here soon i guess he hasn't fully seen what's going on one ling is going to slip in now though and it will get that full scout and uh you know all the information here and he knows now actually for sure he doesn't need the sunken colony so that's a bit unfortunate here for effort. Now, there's not even a two racks coming. It's just uh, probably going to be a, a, an eBay. Uh, if I had to guess, eBay with a, a very quick plus one. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's kind of what it's looking like to me. Okay, there's the second racks there. All right, interesting. So that second rack's going to come down. He's got the Marines here at the front on that high ground. Kind of funny. They're all standing around like a little powwow here on top of the supply depot. It's probably not the optimal position. <laughs> if I had to uh, say what the optimal position is, probably behind here or maybe tucked in this little corner here, but there it is. That's what we're doing right now, um, I guess. We forced out a sunken colony though. That's all well and good. Effort's gonna be slowed down just slightly, but he will be taking a base in the top left. Seems like he wasn't 
actually able to get into that third hatchery too quick. And I just heard a building explode. I'm not sure what was canceled. Seems like something was canceled on the map though. Yeah, here is that plus one now. I'm gonna be starting here. We've got almost uh, stim being finished. And he's gonna start to put down some turrets here pretty soon. The two racks play is starting to come across the map here. Only one medic though with this. Probably not gonna work out too well for Sock. If he's gonna have to be walking up a ramp against one sunken colony. Um, it's not going to go well for him. So he will just back up, go home. No real point in moving out with this army. I'm a little bit surprised that he even decided to do that. Oh, okay. It was, uh, must have been killing some assimilators or something. Is that what we heard got killed? Okay, here. That's what we were hearing. The exploding buildings was, uh, the assimilators over at this side getting killed. So that was just, uh, Sock. Uh, or sorry, effort clearing out some of those assimilators to make this top left corner into an island. So that's not going to be very accessible for Sock, except by air, which I mean, he's probably not going to go into dropships with Mutas out and harassing him and that type of thing. So interesting decision making here by effort. Really playing the map right now. Going to come in and deal a little damage to the supply depot. Only has the five Mutas right now. So you can one-shot Marines, but you can't one-shot those... Uh, SCVs, not until you've got seven Mutalists. So he's going to stay back for now, just kind of poke here at the edges at what he can, maybe get a Marine or two here and there uh, before the range upgrade comes in. That's going to be very effective, but he's waiting for a couple more Mutas to come across the map. And since this wasn't a 2.5 hatch, that's going to take some time. So we're just going to poke here, and there's the seventh Muta. Now we might see a dive in here. We might see him try to come through, maybe pick off this SCV over here. You know, pick up a few SCVs on the way through and then come uh, out through this top side. Here we go. Going to go ahead and fly in. Unfortunately, loses one meter right off the bat. And now this is not going to be nearly as effective. Look at, he has to take two shots. Oh my goodness. Takes two shots and beautiful play here by Sock to catch that mutilist chunk on the way out. Big, big damage on that. And this was really unfortunate here for effort. Effort. Eating big damage and barely getting anything done. He's going to come back in. Going to get a medic and maybe an SCV. Only five mutas here once again. See, SCV does survive and that uh, science facility will finish. Oh, that's really not good. Sock playing very, very well right now. The target on the muta as he was flying in was super big brain. Comes running down here, targets one Muta, and that just makes the Muta stack so much less potent. Six Mutas is ridiculously less potent than seven Mutas, so... Having to, uh, you know, back off from this position, having lost some Mutas, he's gonna come back in once again. That's a lot of turrets, though. Five turrets, lose two Mutas. Oh my god, he didn't even kill anything here. This is looking worse and worse for Effort. I don't know how this is going to play out, but Effort is not looking good right now. And if I'm Effort right right here, and I've been in these situations before, man, as a Zerg player, you are feeling very, very bad right now. You've done no damage with these Mutas. You picked off a couple of Marines. Maybe you killed one worker. It's going to load up a drop. This is exactly what I was saying he probably wouldn't do here. That's craziness. I don't think he saw that either. Maybe he'll see it with the Ling here. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Did he see that? Did he see that? I don't think so. Wow, the drop is going to slip through unnoticed. The Mutas are in the wrong position here. The drop will most likely make it up to the top left. But look at this. Sending Scourge over here to the top left just in time. I think that effort may be able to catch this. However, there is quite a bit of space here. And the... You just do, the, the, the Scourge do not have that much vision, so it looks like he is going to be able to unload. Picking off a couple of turrets here. He's going to unload, back up, load up again, and drop another set of Marine Medic in here. Oh boy, he might be able to pick this off. He might be able to pick this off. Oh, great pick off there from Effort. Really, really good pick off. Unfortunately, he's going to lose that Nidus Canal. Can he clear everything with these Mutas? If all of those Marines had made it into the main, there would have been no chance of that whatsoever, but maybe he can do it here with the Mutas he has remaining. He just barely will. Wow, that was intense, man. Had the Marines stayed there to defend the uh, dropship, 
he could have gotten that on or he could have unloaded everything and i think he would have killed this base but being a little greedy he wanted to run up and kill that nidus as soon as possible and ends up losing all of those medic and marine and not killing the base it's still very painful for effort to have to rebuild all these drones but he'll take that all day over a dead base now we've actually gone for crazy zerg here effort skipping over lurkers not going for defiler tech either focusing completely on armor upgrades and getting directly into ultralis he needs that extra gas so so badly he'll try to sneak another one here somewhere and you can see he's already trying to get a drone out but it looks like that's going to be shut down um unfortunate here for effort dive into the natural tries to get a vessel but not able to pick that off vessels are out in force now and i see a few scourge ready to uh hit the vessels should there be an you know the vessels come forward and try to irradiate all these ultras you do not want to allow your ultras to get irradiated before they're ready to fight irradiate can help you to actually fight a little bit against the marine and medic but if you just allow the vessels to fly in here and just irradiate everything and then fly away it's really really bad it's gonna lower the amount of uh hp on all of your mutas by a significant portion and you're just gonna be in a really bad way when you actually end up taking that first fight with this strategy everything comes down to the first fight here for zerg you need to get a really good fight here and look at that he's hardly able to produce ultras at the moment unfortunate for effort he's got plus three he's waiting for that plus two carapace that plus two carapace is so important oh but a bus is gonna come through here it's gonna force the fight before the plus two carapace is done this is really really harsh for effort effort is going to lose a bunch of his ultras here luckily he does have the high ground but he doesn't have enough sunkins only five sunkins with a six coming online here ultras being forced to fight they are going to go down way too quickly and i think that sock has managed to do this this type of uh, play has happened to me countless countless times being busted right before the ultralists are fully online there it is the carapace just about done here but gg is called effort taps out and sock will take this game yeah just not enough damage done with the early mutas and that drop play into the top left was not totally shut down it was eventually killed but it dealt a lot of damage it forced uh the redroning from effort he wasn't able to spend all of his gas uh, and get his extra carapace up in time. We're about 12 minutes in. It's really close to that timing for plus two, but Sock hit it perfectly. He used the D matrix to soak up the sunken shots. We didn't commit enough here to the sunkins. The high ground is powerful, guys, but it's not all powerful. Even five sunkins can be busted by this many Marines going up ramp um it's not easy but yeah it, it can be done you need like six seven sunkins at this point which i don't know why effort didn't invest into that usually when you're going for crazy zerg you'll have like another base with another bunch of sunkins in front of it um so you'll have to invest in like 12 sunkins instead of just six right but in this case he only had one entrance to worry about and then of course the the drop defense that's it so he could have definitely afford he could have definitely afford like seven eight sunkins here so i'm a little bit surprised that he didn't but then again he was very low on the minerals from that earlier drop losing all those drones was painful building a bunch of extra sunkins even lowers your drone count that much more things get really rough he lost the nidus as well so he had to waste another drone for that uh, he just wasn't able to really produce uh, as many ultras as he would like so a lot of cascading problems here in this game guys but this is not just a one-off or one-off game here we've got a little series for you so we're gonna jump into game number two sock versus effort it's coming right up here we are on citadel for our second match we've got sock in the bottom right hand corner effort in the bottom left a little bit of chatter going on here uh if it continues i will throw up uh some translated text for you guys or it'll be in the comments section down below sock 
playing a great game a really great game there last uh last one there on troy i thought the ideas from effort were quite good the execution a little bit lacking but that's not an admonishment of effort at all i think sock kind of dismantled the play from effort in a very professional way really the pickoff on the single singular muta was really really good by him uh you know totally shutting down that initial attack he forced out the early sunken as well um cut off a lot of the information for effort of course some links did manage to slip in but effort not making the right adjustments to uh, what he was seeing in the base i guess having a bit of a hard time now we'll see if sock can dismantle him quite like that whether we'll see uh, our boy Effort here go for a similar build as last game. Will he go Crazy Zerg again? Now, let's just talk a little bit about this map here for something like Crazy Zerg. Uh, let's uh, pull up the entire map for a second. We can see nothing out of the ordinary here for either player just yet. We've got a wall here. We've got the 12 hatch. And we will uh, see when that gas actually gets built. I'm very interested to see that actually. We're at 11 drones, 12 drones. Is he gonna build it on 13? 12, okay. So he builds an extra drone before starting the gas. A little bit different than what I'm used to seeing, but there you have it, effort. I'm gonna go ahead and get that gas online. Now, talking about this map, I think the only reasonable base to take if you wanna do Crazy Zerg is this one. Um. It might be possible to get this one here and build creeps out towards this position so that you can get a line of uh, of sunken colonies right here. But I don't think it's very comfortable. Like, I, I think you actually have to build a creep here and then you can build a creep there. So you only need one creep and then you can start uh, lining up the creeps. But that takes time. Um, you have to wait for one creep to finish and then wait for the creep to spread and then you can finally start the other creeps. It's a little bit rough for Crazy Zerg in that position. I think here it's okay. I think these bases are not good because uh, it, you place your creeps right here. Um, the Marines are coming down off of the high ground and it's pretty easy to spread and split here. I don't know. Maybe if you put the creeps really far back, I, I tested it with putting my creeps like right here and it felt like the marines were able to utilize the high ground against me so maybe if you put the creeps like that you can actually uh have a good time doing crazy zerg here uh that's pretty annoying sock is kecking at uh his opponent here effort i don't like that when uh, korean players do that to me but we'll see how effort handles that it looks like he's gonna slip by oh well, unling gonna try and get in here can he get in, get some information? Looks like he's going to lose that Ling. Unfortunate there for effort. He would like to get in and figure out what's going on. He did start a Sunken, but he canceled it uh, just moments after a third hatchery here. So this is the build I was expecting from last game. Was actually the quicker third hatch in the main. Looks like he's saving a bunch of larva. Okay, that's all going to be for drones. Uh, usually you don't want to save larva if you're just building drones, but... Uh, maybe he's expecting this move out to come. Uh, he hasn't really seen too much, I think, in the main and natural. We don't have e uh, overlords there just yet. One overlord here, one overlord here. And all the information he's been able to gain is just the number of marines here at the front. Um, two racks play. Going to be coming here from Sock. And it's going to hit pretty hard. This, I think you need to have your creep colonies at the front. So he will throw down a creep colony here at the five minute mark, just before the five minute mark. I think you want to have two at least started here um, before they move out. So right as the move out comes, you're going to see this be thrown down here immediately. And I don't know if that's actually going to finish in time. We don't have enough links to delay this. And the rush distance is very short. It's deceptively short on this map. I've died plenty of times already. Um, in the short time, this... This uh, map has been part of the map pool. 
um, to a push out like this, but it looks like Effort just barely going to finish the time. He's even throwing down an Evolution Chamber here just to buy that little extra time. Cancels it after he sees that that's not going to happen. He even cancels one of the Sunkins, which is a little bit insane, but I guess he's going to be able to slip out an extra Muta because of that. He's going to be able to pop six Mutas all at the same time. He's kicking at his opponent here. Maybe because he threw down a building to block or something. I'm not sure uh, the Ling from getting in. I actually don't know what that building was for uh, or why that was canceled. Maybe he threw that down uh, in response to a Ling coming. I, I really don't know, but we've got Mutas now on the field. Let's see if these Mutas can do a little bit more damage. <laughs> Kicking back and forth at each other, pretty funny. Something is something is very funny, guys. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but something is really hilarious. Six Mutas here once again. Six Mutas is not the magic number. Seven is what we're looking for. So just going to go ahead and poke at the barracks. And this is just feeling very reminiscent of last game. This is um really, really similar to what happened in the last game. We're going to get seven Mutas and then try to dive here once again and get one sniped. Is that what we're about to see? We've got those still six mutas here and nothing more for effort. Did he get supply blocked or something? What is going on? Why are we still sitting here? We should have more mutas on the way. Another base is going to go up in the top left hand corner, but Sock is just completely ready for this play from effort. He's not allowing him to deal any damage so far, and we really do need to get something going here, either picking off a lot of Marines or flying in and getting a bunch of SCVs. One of the two needs to happen here soon. Third base is on the way, but that's the third base in the top left that is more suited for a Lurker play. So there it is, Lurker gonna be on the way. Taking that base, like I said, it's really tough to do Crazy Zerg with that base. So he's gonna go ahead and jump into Lurkers. Kinda sharking around here at the front, baiting out some Stim energy or Medic Energy with that Stim. Looking for some reinforcements. Good first shot there. First volley. Gotta hit him with the kit. Once again. As soon as you get that first uh, couple of kills. Try to tilt your opponent. Try to make him... Uh, make him fall off a little bit. Oh, gonna go ahead and lose a Mita. Another cat in the chat. This is really annoying to me, guys. <laughs> it's it's kind of triggering to me right now, actually. Um, these these type of players, this is I guess this is Korean culture, man. They're even doing it to each other, even though they both know that they're great players. They're still kecking at each other. Um, I really don't understand it. But we got two Marines moving up here to the top left hand corner. Two Hydras here should be able to stop that. Just, uh, you know naked marines here with no medic support um unfortunately they are going to be on the high ground okay he will be able to pick them off oh just does save that one hydra so one hydra going to live there would have been really clutch if he had turned that hydra into a lurker to save it but he ends up turning it into a lurker after the battle is won that's fine as well gonna run in here with some uh mutas and lings now that he knows that lurkers are on the way here it's a good time to just dive in and get as many kills as possible. So I really like this play from Effort right now. Does he have Lurkers at home? Yes. They are very close to being finished. They are not ready yet, though. So is he going to get busted here? Two Lurkers. There we go. They burrow at the very last moment. And now Effort is free once again to just harass the heck out of Sock here. He should fly back in, I think, and start picking off turrets. Open up this position here. Uh, I guess not. Maybe he's not going to go for that. I'm a little bit surprised. I really thought he would, uh, you know, just fly in and start to do some more damage. Here we go. Flying in, picking off the round of Marines as they pop out. Going after some SCVs here. Going to hit a turret or two. One turret going to go down. More SCVs being picked off. That second engineering base not going to be able to start here for a little while. You can see these mutas are getting a little bit low here. We still have seven to work with. So seven, like I said, the magic number. We could do another dive in here. Pick off some more SCVs one by one. Mutas, our Marines are going to come back, but Mutas being pushed out after taking one more SCV kill. A lot of drone. Look at that drone wave heading up to the top left. 
That is wild. Having these uh, lurkers on that ramp seems a little bit funny, but maybe it's okay. Being on the high ground makes them pretty invulnerable uh, to marine attacks. You can get a good spread here, but I mean, fighting uphill against lurkers is pretty darn rough. I don't know. This seems a little bit funny to me. I would think that you'd want them back here in like a little line here would be optimal, but maybe I'm wrong. Nidus going up to the top left. We've got a bunch of hatcheries coming down. Effort is getting into full macro mode here. Full, full, full macro mode. He is going to get pretty out of control very quickly. Uh, unless Sock does something drastic. And we might end up seeing something out of him. Maybe a double drop. Maybe a quad drop. Some Mulatto ships coming out soon. He really does like that style of play. But so far, not even thinking about it. He's just heading across the map up to top left. He's going to look for some irradiates here, and you he will find them. Two irradiates on these lurkers. And with that, we're not going to be able to uh, skimp on defenses. We need two more lurkers up here ASAP. We'll bring through a defiler as well, though it's a little bit premature here. Getting the lurkers in place. Not a second too soon. Scan sees the Defiler. If he loses that first Defiler, that is a painful, painful loss. So he will lose that, but he does have enough uh, time to throw down a Dark Swarm here. With the Dark Swarm coming out. Oh, God, Fire Bats are here already. Wait a second. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude, this Fire Bat timing is insane. Oh, man. Are we actually going to see Effort get busted here? This is crazy, guys. That was so insane. Fire bats are going to come forward, picking off a bunch of these lings. I just heard some vessels go down, but the fire bat's still alive here. It's going to start to consume some drones right now because everything is dying here. Lings are going to come forward, but that fire bat with six kills, just being an absolute hero, a Chad. For the Terran army, oh my god, still alive right now. It is crazy to me. He's got to target that fire bat down, finally getting rid of it. Ling's coming up here. Lurker's coming up to the ramp as well, but one of them's going to be irradiated. Very annoying. We do finally start to stabilize. We've still got 45 drones, so it's not like we're in a bad position here as effort, but we were trying to take a really quick fourth base. And Sock was just not having it, man. That firebat timing was crazy. You almost never see firebats that early on. But they arrived right as Consume was finishing. He busts open that lurker position and almost just straight up wins the game off of that. Uh, had his rallies been a bit faster, maybe? Had he had another irradiate for the lurkers that came up to defend? He might have been able to bust through that. We do have more lurkers coming up, and he's actually going to Hydralis Defiler play right now. Losing another vessel here, a little bit painful. We've got some lurkers, Hydras, moving around this right-hand side here. Not quite paying attention fully is effort, but he does get his lurkers underground, and we'll be able to pick off quite a few Marines now. First plague of the game comes down on a couple of vessels here over at the third four, slash fourth base and sock really does want to break this it looks like coming forward with some fire bats here on the right hand side he's gonna push in with more fire bats at the top left natural there's not really much behind this guys there's just a few hydras underneath the dark swarm here drones are being pulled out hydras in mass numbers but hydra's not going to do well against the fire bats that have been brought forward there's the lurkers finally coming forward to help deal with those fire bats and he will hold for now but man effort is under so much strain right now to defend this base here in the top left hand corner he is really struggling with just one lurker second one is gonna pop out but my goodness the pressure from sock is really overwhelming Effort struggling right now to get that base up and online. He does get it up, though. And he's got plenty of drones right now. 55 workers, man. It is tough to get this many drones out while dealing with all this pressure from a Terran. It is a real struggle, but he's managed to do it brilliantly. 
There haven't been any drops just yet. And Sock is taking the base up here in the top right hand corner. So this game is possibly going to go long here. It could be a, one of those really great games where we see our Terran go into, you know, double factory production, fight off the Lurker Hydra uh, Defiler, and uh, play it out in a really long, uh, you know, drawn out fashion. But we do need to see factories thrown down here pretty soon if we want to go for that type of style. I don't see any just yet. It seems like he just wants to start, stick to. Uh, Marine Medic and that SK Terran But you know, that's it's pretty hard to make SK Terran work against something like this The plagues are going to be devastating. That's so many barracks. Oh my goodness. So many barracks We're nearing max out here while taking this base up. Finally, we're gonna see factories in the top right hand corner So he will eventually transition into that but it's going to be a bit of a late transition with not as many tanks as we're kind of used to seeing. Um, and maybe Effort can take advantage of that. Here we go. One vessel gets picked off. The number of vessels here indicates the health of the Terran army. Truly, only a few vessels remain. So Sox army is looking less and less healthy here. There are still a lot of vessels coming out, of course, because we aren't building that many tanks right now. And we do have the potential for that fourth gas. I think that'll be taken soon here. We are going to have just an endless flow of vessels and possibly battlecruisers. I don't see battlecruisers yet. Actually, battlecruisers is not the best against Hydra Defiler for sure. Uh, Marine Medic is not that great against it either, but truly, battlecruisers are really not the answer. Great plague on all these vessels right now. Those vessels getting mopped up uh, very, very soon, I think, by the Hydras. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, Push forward here with the Hydra Defiler against this small group of Marine Medic. It's hard to pay attention to everything, of course, guys. So this is unfortunately going to be Sox undoing over here. His lack of attention is going to lead to all of these Marine Medic getting picked off here. Hydras, let's take a look at the upgrades. 2-1 right now. 2 armor, 1 attack. We've got 3-3 three, three done, though, for these uh, Marine Medic, that is pretty strong. Looks like we're missing the opportunity to burrow here with these Lurkers and get any damage done with them. So, lack of attention on both sides. Looks like a bunch of Hydras get picked off as well down here. Very hard to pay attention to everything again, guys. Look at this. Just bare naked Marines just kind of fighting here on this side while big plagues come down on some of these Marines up at the top half of the map. Another base going to come down here at the center left to try to get into that as soon as possible dropping down an armory we should see tank production here pretty soon but sock is so busy with everything that's going on right now trying to dodge those plagues trying to keep on irradiating trying to shut down the movements of effort wow a bunch of these or, uh, plagued vessels do end up going down and sock is rapidly losing control in this game um, he's getting some good irradiates down, but he hasn't sent back the vessels to get repaired. So he's really losing a lot of vessels. I'm going to try to come in here, pick off this base. Got one lurker egg here. He's going to make a couple more. I think he just sprints by here, target down the base. We're going to have to give up this army, I think, no matter what. So we might as well get this hatchery. It's, we're overcommitted at this point. But we're just going to have to let that go. Lose this army. And take over the base. Now, I don't like the vessels coming forward right now. Because this is a moment where the vessels can all get picked off. Because there's not going to be that marine support. We know we're going to lose these marines. So, we don't want to be sending in the vessels to die as well. It's time to send them home. And just give up on these marines. He does send most of them home. He loses one vessel. That's going to be fine, though. Constant production of vessels here as we start to mine out. In these uh, bases here. And main and natural are mined out. Tanks are starting to be produced, but I'm a little worried about how slow the uh, the vessels are coming. Oh, great D-Matrix there. I thought we were going to see two uh, science vessels go down, but really great D-Matrix saves the day. A lot of fire bats here ready to fight. Going to be very useful against the Dark Swarm. He's managed to slow down that next base by quite some time. And he's managed to get his factories up and operational here in the top right. He's just about maxed out. 
So he's not really gonna grow that factory or the the overall count too much here for the number of um so I, the the number of tanks that he's got. It's gonna be a while before he can get that count up. But uh, he's gonna at least start to do that. He's gonna start to get some out. He's gonna start to get those upgrades going. And that's like his little nest egg there. That's his investment for the future. Eventually, he's gonna have a lot of tanks and it's gonna be very hard for effort to push. But that tank will, that, that count will continue to grow slowly here over time. Fighting with Marine Medic, 3-3 three, three Marine Medic. We've got 3-2 on the Hydralist, but they do not send a chance when it's Medics with those, uh, or when, it, when the medics are there with the marines to help assist them, you need a defiler to, to kind of push through that. And unfortunately, I think we've seen a lapse here from effort where he just didn't have the defiler ready in time. He wasn't able to stop that marine medic push. And again, the base in the center left goes down. Now it's starting to get pretty hectic here. Whoa, we missed a pretty big attack over here towards the natural a counter attack coming up. From Effort, Effort putting in some work here over at the Natural, dealing quite a bit of damage. It looks like it's gonna eventually get cleaned up, but this is some good damage and it will open a position here to where Effort can continue to push. You should see a big plague there, a really nice plague, dealing a lot of damage to all these Marine Medics and this is starting to get a little bit hectic. Can Sock balance here? Can he get his feet under him once again uh, as the Zerg units continue to flow across. Things are looking bad right now for Sock. He po pops out a big group of fire bats though to shove through these dark swarms and maybe he can stabilize right now. With that being the case, he needs to throw down some irradiates on these defilers that are coming forward. It does get a pretty decent uh, plague there, but using the dark swarm against his enemy, really nice play from Sock. Using the fire bats here to just stand under the dark swarm and hold position uh, while the hydras are trying to push forward. Pretty darn decent play, but here comes another round of hydras. So many hydras making their way up here. I don't think that he can hold on against this. Fire bats, pure fire bats are not going to be what it takes. Making some lurker eggs at the front. Hydras here holding the ground. That is insane. I've never seen a Hydra Defiler player make Lurker Eggs as a wall against Fire Bats, but there it is. There's a first for everything. Well, I need to go back and maybe do some picture in picture here, but I want to see that fight for myself right now. So let's go ahead and hop back here. Maybe a little bit farther ahead here. I really would like to see what went wrong for Sock when that hole opened up. I guess he was too focused on this base right here. I thought he was doing a fantastic job of shutting that down. But he had only the one tank, I guess, that was ready to hold the natural. And you can see his army here pretty stacked up. Not really ready to hold an incoming attack and nothing covering this ground right here where he could block, uh, you know, a counter attack coming through. So he clears up this base. I guess this was the first time actually he clears up and look, he does send units to make sure that nothing is coming this direction. No uh, defiler is going to be able to swiftly move over here and just come right over towards that natural. But with this next attack, I guess, like right here, this is really bad for effort. Taking this fight right here with all of these Hydralis and no Defiler support, that is, uh, that's brutal. He's going to lose way too much, way too many Hydras to take down way too few Marines. But at the same time, he was setting up for this counterattack. And this counterattack is actually what won him the game here. Because right as Sok was so focused on taking down this base, you can see his rallies are pretty empty. He's got some units popping out, but he's not bringing stuff to high ground and he's not covering this base right here. So he has actually four tanks right now, but let's let's see how this plays out. Comes right in, you can see no reaction here from Sock. He's so focused on taking down that base in the center left. He comes back with all of the 
vessels, but look at that first plague just annihilating these units. Gonna pick off a ton of these vessels and all of the Marines go down, plus all of the tanks as well. And then things just started to spiral out of control. The macro of effort unmatched, man. This guy is crazy, crazy strong. We were about to see Sock get onto another base here pretty soon, and he had the tank count to hold this location. But I think as you start to build this tank count, there's a moment where once the tank count is high enough, you need to move to the middle of the map and start to claim areas of the map, like here or this area right here and this area right here to deny the Zerg from making runbys like this. And he just didn't have those positions yet. He didn't have that tank count just yet. Focusing so heavily on breaking through into that center left sock falls apart here to the counterattack. The rallies upon rallies upon rallies of units coming across. Oh, we missed this. A defiler getting irradiated in the middle of the map, but he just didn't have enough. He did not have the full shutdown on the constant flow of units that was coming across the map here. Maybe at this moment, pulling the tanks, coming down to assist might have been the right call, but so much is going on here. So many things are happening. It's it's so hard to handle a, an attack like this, getting into your natural. We often say it like getting the Dark Swarm in the natural is just about GG. And that's what Terran players are constantly trying to prevent from happening. But Sok was unable to juggle all of these tasks at the same time. Effort was getting close to drying up, actually. As you can see, we are depleted here in the main, almost at the natural as well, right? We don't have too much in the third, and the fourth is actually still quite high. So we need another gas, at least, to be on three gas economy. That is the bare minimum to keep Hydralis Defi Defiler going. So, effort was so close. So close to drying up on his gases. Also on his minerals here and here. And with this extra base coming up, Sok would have been in a prime position to win this game. If not for this counterattack working out so well. Effort doing a great job here. But Sok impressing me all over again, man. This guy is so crazy good. I love to see it. Guys, thank you so much for watching here. This has been your Daily Dose of Brood War. And I'll see you tomorrow.